a great question. And uh, it, it is indeed an exciting news because interleukin-31 has been coined the itchy cytokine for a lot of reasons. Uh, this cytokine has a role in almost every type of chronic itch, uh, and not just in atopic eczema, and also in parigonodularis and other conditions, we've found that it has a significance in uh, patients even with lymphoma, cutaneous T-cell lymphoma, and different, even infections such as scabies, and other conditions that are itchy, whether it's like an amyloidosis, and the list goes on and on. So parigonodularis is a hallmark of a disease of horrible chronic itch that patients are miserable. And indeed, this drug works extremely well for these patients. And uh, it's a really uh, a very important aspect of improving patients' life and uh, in any new drug that has that uh, significant efficacy is welcome. So the first of uh, the drugs that was approved was Dupilumab, which is doing also very well. But this is an add-on, and clearly uh, our patients uh, will benefit significantly. And I foresee that this is just a beginning of this uh, drug used in other conditions, hopefully, and other indications of chronic itch, because chronic itch affects almost, uh, I would say, the majority of patients with dermatological conditions that are inflammatory. So indeed, exciting news. So first of all, it works very fast. And, and that's important for patients because patients want fast results. Uh, and it works fast and, and rapidly. You could see the itch goes down. And uh, so that's one issue. Second, which interests all dermatologists, is whether it's side effects. And, and it has a good safety profile. And that's uh, extremely important, too. And uh, third, it not just improved the itch, but the lesions have uh, gone. These are lesions that are uh, nodules. They're scar kind of lesions with uh, a very big element of uh, fibroblasts that activate these scars. And patients want to look uh, better, and they indeed will look better with this drug. So it kind of covers all the aspects that I'm a dermatologist who practices also clinically, so I don't just sit in the lab. And what I want to see is that the patient, uh, that it won't just work on mice models, but it works extremely well and is safe to my patients. And this drug clearly fulfills that. 